Baby sea turtles have one single mission. Get to the sea and survive. That's why in this video, we are actually gonna be interviewing a real life turtle rescue team who not only save baby turtles from getting killed from these numerous predators whenever they try to get to the sea, but they also save many injured and many disabled turtles. So in this video, we're gonna be learning all about how they actually save turtles here in Sri Lanka. And well, let's get right into it. Hello, I am one. Hi, Boan. Hi. So welcome to the Victor Hasselblad Sea Turtle Conservation and Research Center. So today I'm going to explain you how to protect the turtle and what are the problems that in Sri Lanka we do have about the turtles and how to conserve them. So in the world, we have seven type of sea turtle. Koskoda, this area called Koskoda. On here, we can see five type of sea turtle. That's a specialty on here. Because all the world, we have only seven type. Yeah. From seven, we can see in Sri Lanka, a small island, five species. Okay. So in Sri Lanka, we do have green turtle, loggerhead turtle, olive ridley turtle, hawksbill turtle, and the largest type turtle in the world, leatherback turtle. Okay. So leatherback, they can grow up to three meters, very big. They can grow up to 900, 600, 900 kilograms. And in Sri Lanka, we don't have flatback and the camps ridley, because camps ridley, they are mainly nesting in Gulf, Mexico, South America and the flatback only Australia and Papua New Guinea. So except these two, other all five kind turtle mothers, they are nesting on this beach on night time. Then after nice. some fishermen, they collect these eggs, they bring us, we buy the eggs, we have to pay money for them because we have to stop the human consumption. We pay more than black market price. Yeah. Okay. So then after we bury the eggs in our hatchery inside. So here I will show you some real turtle eggs. Okay now? Okay. And uh, why did they even buy them in the first place? People, why did they want to get it? Because they won't eat it. Oh, sure, sure, okay. Here you can see, it's, oh, it looks like it's a soft. Ping -pong. The reason is these are reptiles. And the cellulose cover is very thin and the calcium cover is very thick. Calcium cover is thick, cellulose cover is thin. Okay? So it's not fertile, just for display. Yeah. So after you brought eggs, still we can't leave the eggs on the beach because on the beach, there are so many predators out there. Dogs, cat, mongoose, water monitors, birds. But it's still biggest predator are the human. They eat turtle legs, poach turtle for the flesh, for the shell. They make souvenirs and ornaments from their shell. Highly protected. But in the black market, it still happen. So after you buy the eggs, we bury the eggs in our hatchery inside. I will show you when we go inside. Yeah. So we leave the eggs in our hatchery for two months. One and a half months to two and a half months in between. So after that, they hatch, they're coming out themselves in night time. And after hatch, directly we are releasing 75% to the ocean as soon as they hatch. Then after the rest of 25%, we hold in our water tank maximum four days for educational purpose and that also only night time after sundown we release them back to the ocean so that's a baby turtle conservation we are doing here and also uh, because of the human activities only around uh, sri lanka more than 2000 adult turtle died per year because of the plastic consumptions and the ghost nets nylon nets and sometimes we get injured turtle sick ones and we take them in we do our treatments we have a like a hospital for the turtle and we do treatments, then we release them back. Yes, okay. That's a rehabilitation we are doing for the bigger ones. Okay. So now we can go in and we can uh, see the process, what we're doing. As you can see guys, we have a bunch of species. And the biggest one is actually the uh, leatherback right there. And the smallest egg for the uh, one of the turtle species is the olive ridley. So as you can see, so here's the leatherback, look ahead, uh, green, the hawksbill, and olive ridley. And by the way, all of these uh, eggs, their uh, gender actually gets determined on the temperature. The hotter the turtle is, the f uh, it's female. female, and the colder it is, well, the more male it is. So, well, that's a fact. So turtles have really been a very old and ancient species. And actually back in the day, during the ice age, it was mostly cold, so they're more male turtles. And now that there's global warming, most of them are female turtles. So uh, turtles actually throughout history have, of course, an evolution. And I believe you said the biggest one, the name was? Archelon. Archelon, which is like five meters, AKA 13 feet. Uh, 16 feet. 16 feet, which is yeah. pretty big. In here, we have five species turtle nesting. 
So then after some fishermen, they collect these eggs, they bring us. So okay. we buy the eggs, we pay money for them. Then after we bury the eggs over here. This is our hatchery. Okay. So this is the place where we bury the eggs. On these boats, you can see the date, when the turtle laid the eggs, and the kind of turtle, and how many eggs are there. So here we got 135 eggs. Normally one turtle mother lay one time, 100, 150 between eggs at a time. Okay? Yeah. So before we bury the eggs, we dig a, hole, dig a hole, one and a half feet, 45 centimeters deep, and pot shape. Same like how the mother turtle digging hole, and we bury the eggs over here. Then after it takes one and a half months to two and a half between, two and a half months between, they hatch, they're coming out themselves in night time. And after hatch, in the nature, instinct, they follow the moon. Here we use the light trap. So after hatch, we don't have to wait here. Sea turtle, they follow the light, they get into this tank through the hole. So we collect all turtles from here and directly we release 75% and rest of 25% we hold here maximum four days. And that also only night time, we release them back to the ocean. So that is our hatching procedure. So that's why uh, to the hotels around this area, we tell don't use your big flashlight to the beach. Because uh, as I explained you, they attract to the lights. Yeah. So if you miss the nest on the beach, if the turtle hatch, they going, they don't go back to the ocean. They going other side, wrong direction. Yeah. So that's why use dim lights. Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. And so how do you sustain this? Because you buy these eggs, how do you keep this running? So this is the first sea turtle conservation in Sri Lanka. Actually, my grandfather is the founder of this center. Okay. So my dad is the director and I'm the manager at the moment. This is a private center, but we are under Sri Lankan Wildlife Department. So when the people want to visit here, we have an entrance ticket. So from that, we have raised our own fund. And there we have a small souvenir shop. By selling souvenirs, we are raising funds to conserve them, feeding them, treating them, buying eggs for everything. Okay. So okay? And we got volunteers. They come here and they, they can help us also. Okay, so I told you, after hatch, directly we are releasing 75% and rest of 25% we hold in our water tank maximum four days for educational purpose. For there you can see one day old, two days old and those are three days old and then there you can four see days. the four days old ones. Yeah. And what was that you said? Uh, these ones actually, they come to there, that's their tank. Okay. Because of the water changing, they have moved here. Oh, should they albinos? Okay. Yeah, okay. so uh, end of the thing will come back to here, or otherwise okay. they will go back to there, and yeah. after you can do the explaining over there, okay? So actually, yeah, this is the normal procedure that we have turtles over here. Yeah. So they can feel the vibration of, of the wall and the floor. So they, they, feel, uh, they can feel the sea. Oh, oh, wow, wow, wow. You can put your hand like this, and keep your thumb on the leg. Okay, and this is a baby green turtle. And these ones, we are releasing uh, tonight to the ocean after sunset. Look how beautiful nature is and how it can be so beautiful with these green turtles, which are only four days old and it seems very energetic. And so now we're gonna put it back in. Nice. So here we have two types of turtles, the green one and the olive ridley right there. It seems to be moving a lot. And so that's the two most common species in Sri Lankan uh, beach right there, the Koskoda. And as you can see, you can identify the green uh, turtle and the uh, olive ridley uh, by looking at their bellies. This one has a whitish belly and this one has a blackish belly. Just scrub the shell because in the ocean there are some algae eaters and the fish there, they do the job. So here they are under our treatments, we have to do the uh, fish job. <laughs> so as you can see, poachers actually poach and get this shell to, and then even some parts of their body to actually make ornaments and stuff. And the only way to actually stop poachers from killing them is by not buying these turtle ornaments because if there's no one buying it, then there's no use to actually uh, kill them, you know? And so also, turtles, they eat uh, jellyfish. And so in the sea, a lot of them get sick and injured like you saw over there uh, because they actually eat the plastic which it kind of looks like a jellyfish. So also recycle and don't throw the plastic in the sea because then that would kill these type of animals. So uh, Monika is 10 years old, 10 kilograms in weight, 
and she's one of the only healthy turtles here at the conservation center. So as you can see, those are the albino turtles. Uh, there are one in a million, and so there are multiple albino turtles here that they keep. Because albino turtles, everything uh, is worse for them because skin regeneration, camouflage, and a bunch of other things are way worse for them. And here, they're trying to actually treat them by trying to regain their own color because in the wild, they're very vulnerable with their generation of skin and other things. But also, they have basically zero camouflage, so they can't really hide in the corals of the deep sea. This is a ghost net, or that's what we call it. And so, uh, these are banned in most countries, but some, some countries and some people still illegally use it. And so, basically, as you can see here, they put it under like a small shed, a small wood thing. And then, uh, turtles, they can't actually see this. And so, they usually go inside. And then, for example, as you can see, this is the shoulder of one of the actual turtles who got stuck in this that they found. And so, as you can see, these are almost unbreakable to turtles because these are made of nylon. And they're extremely powerful. Like, I'm not even able to break it. And so, yeah, you can also see this bone seems to be, well, poor, poor turtle. This bone really got detached from his body. So as you can see here, guys, this is the turtle nesting beaches of Sri Lanka, you know, old Sri Lanka. And these are all the main beaches. There are so many beaches here, which uh, have a lot of turtle types. Like, for example, in Pothuil, you have the green turtle, the olive ridley turtle, and the leatherback turtle. But there are two beaches in all of Sri Lanka, which are special, and which are the only ones which have all of these five species of turtles that Sri Lanka actually provides. One of it is Koskoda, where we are right now. And the other famous uh, beach is the Rekawa uh, beach, which also contains all of these five types of turtles. And out of the, in the whole world, there are seven types and seven species of turtles. And in Sri Lanka, there are five of those turtles, which you can find in multiple beaches, like Koskoda, and Rikawa. So now guys, we're going to be doing the most beautiful and fun part, actually throwing them into the wild. So let's get this one. Let's put them there. Take them one by one. It's really fun. Right there. And now we're actually going to be take a few more, then we're going to dump them all at the same time. Ready? No, it's really fun because they're all going at the same time. And now farewell to our last turtle and also our Sri Lankan trip. Coral? Let's go, little Let's go. Let's go, little bro. Let's go. Let's go, little bro. Where did he even go? Oh, he's there. Bad bro. Let's go. Now today was really fun to be able to actually release them into the wild. And yeah, guys, thank you so much. So thank you so much for this amazing thank you. Uh, well, tour. And uh, well, here's a mug. Welcome to the Thank family. you very much for your gift. Welcome. And well, I guess, guys, preserve turtles, don't throw waste. And what do you have to say? We have to protect them for our future generation. Otherwise, they will become extinct in the world. Yeah, so thank be you. careful, guys. Don't dump the plastic into the ocean. We have to protect them because these are endangered animals, otherwise they will become extinct. In the future generation, they won't see them anymore. Thank you.